Nine, eight, oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it. Love it. These are the good shows. Just about breaking news animation. Roll it. Alright, I fade that down. Stand by with that. WVUA 23's Jabari Pruitt is on the scene. He joins us Q. now live from the Q. Q was a different, uh, but it wasn't bad. Not a bad at all. So this is the video of it. Thank you. Uh, his CG live, his last CG. I stand by to kill that. Zach Koch. Now he yeah, went missing down. Sunday morning on just All after right, 3 a.m. saying he was going. to the River's Edge right, casino in found. Knoxville. Now, we were told in Alabama State... We're going to tag on him, and then we're going to come out to our weather two box. Take a break at Holly Springs Lane when he oh, discovered the car with the body inside. Now, Zach, his family and friends were all called to the scene. Now, right now, the scene is pretty Back clear. Now, right. Troopers did confirm the driver was killed in a car crash. Of course, I will have Let me take the weather open next. At six cool. o'clock. But for now, yes. reporting live. Yes. Stand by my weather open. Jabari Crew at WVUA 23 News. Roll it. Mike them all. Jabari, and now time for our first check on our forecast. And pretty chilly for us to start the work week. Woo. It was chilly yeah. this morning. And the cold. Stand by to make. Colder. Yeah, the walk with him. Maybe two or three degrees. Lynn is going to be a little bit of a camera three until he looks at it. I love that. If you walk outdoors, it doesn't there you go. Good job. 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 All right, let me get an OTS. Good job. Good job. All right, they're off the phone. Out there today. That is not what's going to happen tonight. It gets a lot colder, freeze for most of East Alabama and a frost for West Alabama. East Alabama. OTS to a package and see. You're going to have a frost. Yeah, thank you. Uh, can you push that a little bit further out of your way, Lynn? Is there a way a camera operator can go out there and move it? Surface, so we're going to have some frost conditions cool. over much of West Alabama. Temperatures in West Alabama between about 33 and 35. Another big deal. All right, stand by. You probably notice this. All the green. Uh, the pollen, the yellow pollen out there, the high category for grass, weeds, and trees. We'll talk more about this and your local forecast and weather. Lynn. Micah. Thanks, Richard. Package of BNC. over alcohol on Gulf Coast beaches continues today. On Friday, Gulf Shores banned alcohol on the beach, which was effective immediately. And that's left many spring breakers saying they understand why, but they also say there was little time to make other plans and they might rethink the first CG comes in at seven spring break next year C's rolling for a new round of spring break first CG is in seven and, and then we'll take uh, Maggie Johnson live at 15. It kind of all right give me this I like his Maggie are going to be actually responsible about their drinking stand by I'll take uh, Catherine at 15. Because it kind of just ruins it for all of us. Right. Take Catherine. If you're a legal oh. adult what's the problem with it? Yeah, I don't think yeah Catherine. Like that's almost part of the experience. The Take her out. Your next one's from 27 to 31. After safety issues and numerous court. arrests for underage drinking. It's a little unfortunate because, I mean, I was he is. on the He's in until 31. It's whatever. Take him out. So, I mean, you just got to deal with it. We're just dealing That was your last CG. It's cool. We got a minute. Oh, you We're did? Oh, I didn't have that. I didn't have that. Hide yeah, you'd like to have a beer on the beach, but can understand why they do it. Do you have any others? Others believe it's made the beach. All right, cool. I didn't have Haley listed in my CGs. Well, there's one more. Yeah, take some. Okay, take her. Populated, I guess the lack of alcohol and take her out. While they had little notice to change their plans, we have 40 seconds in package out. Cue great beach. Return to Gulf Shores. Should the ban be in place next year? If they're basically going to penalize us for just trying to have like a fun time away from school, then we don't really want to get in trouble for that. They're not penalizing you, they're penalizing the alcohol. Normal laws, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, what's the point? 20 seconds. You may rethink. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this shot going to get this down syndrome video? Is that ever going to come? So it's more of a family. Oh, sure. D23. Thing, Big tradition, yep. so. Mm -hmm. Okay, Keep it going. 12 seconds. Out to you, Great Beach. All the underclassmen keep on coming to Gulf Shores, alcohol or not, it's a good time, it's a great beach. Micah. The ban encompasses the beaches within the Gulf Shore city limits from the west end of Gulf State Park Beach to the very end of West Beach. Anyone in violation of the new ordinance could We're going to come to chat roll your next. Stand by beautiful. Or six months in jail. 
Orange Beach, meanwhile, voted to enforce a no-alcohol ban next year. A You're possible next. rezoning for one Tuscaloosa neighborhood has residents concerned about the future of their homes. WBWA 23's Jack Royer joined us now live in our newsroom with this, this developing story. Jack? Lynn, residents of the Springbrook community are upset about possible our rezoning next of today. their neighborhoods from commercial, hey. from residential to commercial land. Preliminary plans for the 5.6 acre site just off of Farm Don't Boulevard. Don't follow the rundown. I had to change everything because we had this. Uh, 15,000 square feet that could yeah. house new local business. Tonight, residents and developers will discuss what they think this. should happen in the area at a meeting. We'll at 6 live. p.m. at Skyland Elementary School, District 7, Tuscaloosa City Councilwoman Sonia McKinstry. Uh, we'll take it live. So, like, stand by on Sonia McKinstry's name, and then when I say take it, you're going to take district. it. Take it. Perfect. Um, this is 18 um, seconds. Jack's going to tag. Take her name down. Well. So we got I'm 10 really seconds in this. Out cue will be welcoming. The VO will continue. Springbrook neighborhood and the Springbrook residents themselves will be welcoming Mike Jack. Now that meeting again is tonight at 6 p.m. at Skyland Elementary School between the developer and the residents of Springbrook. Send by coming out to an OTS. Complete coverage of it and any decision that comes out of that meeting tonight on WVUA 23 News at 10. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jack Royer, WVUA 23 News. Mike Lynn. Tuscaloosa is no stranger to being in the national spotlight, and today was no She's different. C-SPAN is in town to reveal Tuscaloosa's history and highlight authors. It's all part of a week-long visit. That we'll do the same thing to go to this site. We'll take it live Avenue. when I tell you to. C-SPAN representatives announced the stories and segments that will be explored by the National Television right, Network. See, uh, B23 While here right. in Tuscaloosa, C-SPAN representatives will also conduct community and educational outreach. Take it. And to have the opportunity to just speak to people and learn their you story and tell a yeah. new story. Oh, I truly okay. believe that every okay. city has a good job. Good job. job. Don't have a time on our queue, so we'll play this by you. And Micah. Local segments recorded throughout the week. That one got added late, though, so. Book channel, book TV, we're going to stay on this QCAM to introduce our next story, then we're going to a full screen. TV during C SPAN's special Tuscaloosa weekend. Those air dates are April 16th and 17th. The District 5 cool. seat on Stand the Tuscaloosa County School Board will not remain vacant All right, full screen's up. much longer. The board selected four We're going to wipe straight to a video and be out of this. Seat after the departure of Mark Nelson, they are Kevin Davis, Charles Orr, Dr. Richard Swatlowski, and Nancy Terry. The board will interview all four candidates tomorrow. The first is scheduled for 6 p.m. in the boardroom at the Tuscaloosa County School's central office. All those interviews are open to the public. The board will vote on which candidate will take that District 5 seat at its regular meeting coming up on March 28th. He's rolling. 35-year-old Dean Taylor, who was a Jefferson County School board member, another, was yes. killed over the weekend in a car crash. It happened on Mount Olive Road near Buckshore I'm getting over the shoulder on lane. Investigators say he lost control, then went down an embankment over the shoulder and hit a tree. The crash is under investigation. Lens up on OTS. A National Day of Awareness is special to some students and educators here in Tuscaloosa. National She's Down gone. Syndrome Awareness Day at the Rye School on the All UA right. campus allows the students to So stand by on Andy's name, and then you're going to take her name live. And when we, uh, they to wore fun-colored socks to add fun to the festivities that highlighted how everybody is important. Rye Center teachers hope National Down Syndrome Day will help bring awareness to what people with Down Syndrome can do and what makes them different from their peers. Take it. Hey, he's rolling. Wearing the Don't have a time right now killing this. It's less than 18 seconds. She's going to tag on a Q-cam. ...of what Down syndrome is. But really what it does is it Put highlights it what and tease. our children can do, not what they can't do. Micah. Stand by on my T's open. Part of the Rise Center's mission Stand by on my music. ...a chance at a normal life through research and early intervention methods. Roll it. Music. Still ahead, Apple has He's a going. iPhone and iPad. She's next. Find out when you can get your hands on yours. She's going. And the Stand by on the last open. Stand by mass control. From a case from Nebraska and Oklahoma about Colorado's relaxation of marijuana laws. Yeah, Roll it. Roll it. News at five. Roll it. Yep, thank you. That's always in five. Yes. I, I haven't done the five. That's okay. You, you're having yeah. fun. Yeah, you handled it pretty well. Six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Roll it. Come Wednesday, some of you may notice your Kindle cannot access the internet. That's because you didn't get the update in time. Oh. Amazon says if you don't update Next your isn't older e-reader before March 22nd, it will not be able to download books from the cloud or the Kindle store, and it won't be able to connect to the internet. The update affects Kindle models made in 2012 <laughs> and earlier. Yeah. If you wait until after Tuesday, you will have to manually add the update using a desktop computer to regain your access. Please roll in. Today, Apple unveiled a small new iPhone, a new iPad tablet for business Go use, on see next. and price cuts for its Apple Watch. The announcements, which were largely expected, aim to keep up the company's commercial momentum The fate in the face of mounting challenges. The iPhone SE will be equipped with a longer-lasting battery than the iPhone 5S, and have faster Good. wireless Everyone connections. Everyone batteries should get better. Pre-orders will start in Canada March 24th. Stand by next video Orders see. here in the U.S. are expected shortly after. Apple and the uh, U.S. Justice okay. Department okay, cool. will face off in court tomorrow to issue an FBI request for Apple to unlock the iPhone of San Bernardino shooter Syed Farouk. Apple says to do so, it would need to create new software that could jeopardize the security of any iPhone. The FBI says there's no other way to learn whether that phone holds information about the December massacre. A federal judge will hear Next video arguments being a, and then make a ruling. He's rolling. The Supreme Court declined to Richard's take next. Stand by on the weather music. Nebraska and Oklahoma that Colorado's relaxation of marijuana Slide laws left. hurts them and undermines federal law. Yes, sir. The two states claim Colorado's move open. to decriminalize certain uses of not, marijuana do it. has increased trafficking into Live. their yes, states, I do. requiring them to, quote, expend significant law enforcement, judicial system, and penal system Stand resources. The, music. the justices voted 6-2 to two to send it back. Roll it. Richard's up, Michael. And we've got a frosted four chance of the night tonight. What about the yeah, mass control? Only in Alabama. It's a certainly strange town like a pro as a forecast up next. Three, two, one, and we're out. That was a good job, Rico. Brand recognition. Got five twenty three wipes in there. All right, we got a two shot and we got Richard on the green screen. Hey, might tricky date for me. Yeah. Hey, you're not gonna call for this other stuff, are you? No, I got it all. Cool. All right, I'm done with him. Gary Harris. All right, you cute pals. Uh, happy chatting here, Rico. You got 2:45 full weather. Talk about this cold. Uh, yeah. Let's wait until we get to his uh, like he's gonna at some point he's gonna take America. And once he takes the American map, that's when we can take it, because that way we're not covering up any of our viewing area. We're covering up Texas and Florida. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it. So I'm with Richard Scott now. So Richard, this is the first full day of spring. Yes. And so I don't understand why I had to dress so warmly if it's spring. But yeah. Lisa, you know, it's one of those days. The flowers are in bloom. It's beautiful outside. Yeah. We've got to stand by everybody with our fun graphics. That's not good because a lot of growers yeah. have already. Uh, planted a lot of uh, flowers and blooms with the uh, trees out there in bloom now. That's going to be a problem tonight, Lynn, but we're about to go somewhere like we always do at 5 o'clock. Let's check it out. This is a live view from crazy. Anchorage, Alaska. How about that? Oh, I have been to Anchorage. Actually got uh, 
proposed to. My now Ooh. husband proposed to me in Alaska. So yeah, I, this is a place I've been to. They're, they're, so we have no reason to complain about the cold weather, Richard. <laughs> yeah, they've got a fresh pack of snow on the ground. You see on the rooftop. Yes. That's just beautiful land. I want to show that to you from uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Temperatures actually above freezing there, so some of that snow. I should have counted towards this time. Here pretty quick. Now, <laughs> Yeah, you're right. All right, let's get a two shot on three. Got uh, 59 degrees outside, but again, it gets cold tonight. Sub freezing temperatures for East Alabama overnight. Check it out across the board now. What was wrong with that pre show video? Was that, did I roll the wrong one, or was it like just a wrong thing? Uh, this time of year, we are certainly below average, okay. but with a full sunshine, light wind, it doesn't feel as bad. Uh, winds right now sustain between uh, calm and about nine miles per hour to the higher gust there out of the west north. Oh, yeah, it's cool. You got like a lot of stuff happened in the last 15 minutes. I noticed that because I printed and I'm like, well, look at all this red. Dang, the trees are high, the grass is high. There you go, yeah. That way we're not covering up our viewing area. We don't have anything on satellite and radar. That's going to be changing, but they should future cast mode. Now, not much tomorrow, but it's going to the day on Wednesday. Clouds start to move back in. Check it out here on a forecast model. We've got mostly cloudy skies. Here's 430 on Wednesday. He says allegedly this is going to bring floods by, or maybe somewhere over here, but something's bringing floods. Yeah. Look at this. Showers and thunderstorms move in, some of those could be strong. There could be some severe weather involved in this. You know how to check them in the queue, Mandy? rather low, but again, it's a system carefully to watch on Thursday. This is going to be mainly Thursday morning and into the early afternoon hours. Behind that, turning a little bit cooler as goes to today on Friday. So what about tonight? Everybody out there between 33 and 35. East Alabama, that purple shade of freeze possible, expect temperatures between 29 and 32. So all the trees that are in bloom, all the flowers that are out, that's a problem. Everybody gets a frost overnight tonight. On average for West Alabama and Tuscaloosa area, 33 tonight. Look for a clear sky, frost, freeze for some areas. A 60 tomorrow, yep. plenty of sunshine, expect a warmer day tomorrow. Nose here. Uh, Maggie, do you have an open going tomorrow. to them, a coming up, uh, open going to them? Low 70s on Wednesday. Okay. Thunderstorms move in on Thursday. Some of those become severe. So I'm going to watch very carefully. Don't think it's a major but Yeah, you can keep Thursday. the music down, Friday, and then, like, as I cut them, fade it. You have it, like, going oh, out. Because we're never going to go to video. The video video's going to play by the end. Alright, you have them coming up now. Alright, stand by. They're coming up. And then just fade the music up as we come weather. And a lot of those folks Rapids. there in Texas, Stand by on April the mics. 22nd, 2011 tornado outbreak. Lynn and Gary. Roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Music, yeah. music, 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 music. Gary, what's that coming up in sports? Well, uh, folks are still talking about that miraculous comeback by Texas A&M last yes. night. And then she definitely turned against Northern Iowa. You'll hear from Aggies head coach Billy yes, Kennedy. Yes, and yes. after nine days off of spring break, the Crimson Tide music, football team music, music. went back still to work on Monday afternoon. We've got the details coming up next. NWUA 23 Sports. Three, two, one, we're out. I gotta steal your gear. Okay. We have